what is relative grading so if you score 70 marks out of 100 it doesn't mean that you get a 7 gpa you can also get a 6 gpa not a higher one a lower one why because your peers might have scored above you and uh, the average value is taken that is kept as 8 and if you score below average value let's say average is 85 marks and you are scoring 70 so that 85 becomes 8 gpa and your 70 becomes lower so you always want to be above average so that your gpa does not decrease you know and for becoming above average how do you become above, above average you have to score better than your peers you have to study more than your peers you know because it's class within class so you have you're competing with your your class you want to score more than the classmates your classmates right and the highest scorer only gets 10 gpa if they score, uh, score 1.5 times average now if average is 85 how can one score 1.5 times out of 100 right so that's how they have kept it it's very tough to score a 10 gpa over there it's almost sometimes impossible and uh, yeah so that's how peer pressure is created